Good evening all. I'm going to show quickly about uh, a script uh, to do uh, Wi-Fi wi uh, access point on uh, Pi-Star and uh, I have created a, a bunch of scripts to fully automate it, the installation and uh, yes, you just need to install that command and uh, basically it will install everything for you, you can of course watch the scripts uh, if you don't like them, you can do it manually. Uh, it will uh, download the files of from my server uh, and replace them, and it of course will do backups of them first. After that, uh, you can uh, use your uh, hotspot without a Wi-Fi and uh, if you don't have a Wi-Fi then you have the access point enabled on the hotspot automatically so let's get started I just upgraded the um, uh, this is an other board. I have this very very long time not upgrading it. I was actually having problems with it. So 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 let let's see if here is something something about where to mention. Uh, you will use the V get like this and press enter. And that's it. So it is installing now the, the thing. It will do an update and upgrade. I'm gonna pause for it. It's gonna take a while. Okay. I'm very sorry about this microphone and the sound quality is a bit bad. Okay, it is ready and now I can show it. We don't have any Wi-Fi on use on this, this device. So we have this VLAN 0. Why there is two devices on this this one? Anyways, it should be on this one the Wi-Fi thing. So we do reboot. Okay, I reboot it and uh, I log in and uh, there is only one. VLAN device and that's correct when you have only one then you have this SSID SSID on Pi Star Pi Star let me grab uh, the the Wi-Fi password is nothing you can set up a password on this file hostapd.conf on your home directory on your home directory pystar home directory not etc1 it's writable by you you don't need root for this uh, you will put here number two here and your password here and then you press ctrl x and yes Control X will exit and the, uh, it will ask save and uh, you press yes. So and then you reboot or uh, restart the service. So this is your password. When you do this on your mobile phone, you 
will be connected and uh, you will go to the, this, this address and it, it is this one <coughs> it will get into the PyStar from your device and uh, basically that's it so if you want to have this easily done you just do that and yes you can internet browse and uh, be aware this has a firewall this has a firewall and it's if a tables that rules this is enabled so you cannot do basic things browse the internet and do those things but if you need to do you something special you need to add those rules there on firewall or on <coughs> home directory is auto hotspot this file uh, actually I have added there the the IP IP tables thing. No, it's correct. Yeah, I added to DNS DNS working on local no network, of course. So here is some rules if you are unsure why these type things work and uh, there is no rules. It they are here. So yes, you have here some rules as well. You cannot hear. This will only execute it when you this on AP mode. These rules will only execute it then. But if you are running on local area network mode normally, you don't need these rules and they will not go on. Okay, let's do a demonstration. <coughs> so we have here a typical setup, a 4G modem, a Raspberry Pi, a MMDB and hotspot. You can use also the NanoSpot, it will work there as well. This is the NanoSpot, this is the Raspberry, the size difference is huge. This is K0 and EMP. This is your radio EMP connected to this one. Kansas. And this is still more wide. Hey, Frank is with you from Kansas City and G0N. Just to be sure, we are using, yeah, we are using the right frequency, yeah. NG0N, <coughs> K0 EMP. Uh, good morning, Frank. So, how's it going there? We have no internet, no Wi Fi connected to the house. It's going pretty good. On this we just. DX contact we made here at some Let's station, turn I this think. a bit down. And it's raining like crazy here in Kansas City all, pretty much all night. <coughs> we just open our mobile phone, take the Wi Fi, and Open it, connect to Pi Star. I forget it and connect it again just to see it is connected. And you see, IP address is the five point something. So now we're going to browser, open the browser. Google is working, the internet is coming from here now from this. Uh, 4G, you go to the 1, 9, 2, 1, 6, 8, and 5, and 1, and here you are, your Pi starting.
Here you go. Your, your call and, and, uh, and uh, your location. This is access. This is um, wireless Wi-Fi router now. So basically, it will replace this stuff. It will replace everything. So yeah. I can show a speed test. I don't think it's very fast. I have never done this before on this set. I'm very happy if I get few mechs. We can try to get this higher. No, it's not that. Uh, this is uh, about these errors. I think it's related to the firewall. You can disable the firewall completely, but if you really want to use this as hotspot, you will take a look into the firewall. So, for to show, I can log in into the dongle, maybe. Let's see. Yes, I can log in into the dongle. This has uh, Linux, of course, and uh, look, this is the dongle IP address, so I'm logged in on dongle now. I can here on the dongle see, this is, uh, by the way, a hacked firmware, of course, uh, so I basically can see the signal RSSI as radio amateur, I need to know those. You can see everything here in real time. Every number, every, even a frequency. So we are having a signal of 83 decibel. Uh, so it is very, very weak. We want to have less than 60 to get uh, proper speed. Here is it. Well, this is Oscar Hotel One Echo. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy of my scripts. At least, getting from tips and. Uh, Remember, use this hotspot if you are on the move. Don't use this one. This is big and clunky. This is small. It fits in your hand. And you need only power and that's it. Power and this, or power and Wi-Fi. And connect to mobile phone. Bye bye. 73s.